This is about my fourth video about using average rate of change to estimate the value of a function. I'm making so many of these videos because you will see these problems again on the AP exam when you get to FRQ number two, part B. This is AP Precalculus topic 1.2. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. A team of scientists began studying the population of white-tailed deer in a large wooded area in 2005. In 2007, t equals 2, there were 31 white-tailed deer in the wooded area. In the year 2020, t equals 15, there were 136 white-tailed deer. The number of white-tailed deer in the wooded area can be modeled by the function d given by d of t equals a times b to the t power, where d of t is the number of white-tailed deer during the year t, and t is the number of years since 2005. Part 1. Use the given data to find the average rate of change in the number of white-tailed deer in deer per year from t equals 2 to t equals 15 years. Express your answer as a decimal approximation. Show the computations that lead to your answer. Let's define a letter A that will equal the average rate of change. In case it turns out to be some decimal, we can use a letter instead. Very convenient. On the interval from 2 to 15, the average rate of change of D will be D at 15 minus D at 2 over 15 minus 2. In the setup, we are told that d at 15 is 136 and d at 2 is 31. Let's use the graphing calculator to get the decimal approximation. Make sure you know how to make a vertical fraction on your calculator. You can either hit alpha y equals enter or if you have updated software try hitting alpha x and that might make the fraction immediately. We're getting a fraction. We were asked for a decimal approximation. So let's hit math and use option two to switch this over to a decimal. Now let's store this decimal into letter A on the calculator for future use without loss of accuracy. Hit the store button immediately and hit alpha A and then enter. Now all of these lovely decimals are stored in letter A. For now, let's record this. 8.076 if you like to truncate, or 8.077 if you like to round. The average rate of change is 8.077 deer per year. Don't forget the units. Part two, interpret the meaning of your answer from part one in the context of the problem. I'm going to show you two different ways to interpret the meaning. I think the best way to interpret is to start with the meaning of the function that you're using and then say how it's increasing or decreasing. So begin by saying the number of white-tailed deer is increasing by 8.077 deer per year on average. Notice this is a comma, not a period. If you stop here, you will lose a point because for credit, you must mention the time interval over which the average rate of change was calculated, including the units. Putting it all together, the number of white-tailed deer is increasing by 8.077 deer per year on average from t equals 2 to t equals 15 years since 2005. I think that's the best interpretation in the context of the problem. But here is another way to say it. The average rate of change of the number of white-tailed deer is 8.077 deer per year from t equals 2 to t equals 15 years since 2005. Many students prefer to say it this way because it flows so directly from part one. In part one, we found that the average rate of change of the number of white-tailed deer was 8.077 deer per year. 
So for the interpretation, we can simply say that and then add on the time interval, and that's it. Part 3. Use the average rate of change found in Part 1 to estimate the number of white-tailed deer in the wooded area for t equals 19 years. Show the computations that lead to your answer. Our strategy is to write the equation of the secant line from t equals 2 to t equals 15, and then use the secant line equation to estimate the number of white-tailed deer at t equals 19 years. We are going to use point-slope form to write the equation of the secant line, so we're going to need a point and the slope. For the point, we can use one of the input-output pairs given to us in the setup. For example, we can use the point 2, comma 31. The slope is always the average rate of change, and as long as you wrote A equals in front of your calculations, we can now use A for the average rate of change. We will use A for the slope. Now we can write the equation of the secant line in point-slope form using the point 2 comma 31 and the slope of A. Instead of using the letter Y, we need to use the function name d of t. So we have d of t minus y, so minus 31, is equal to the slope. So this is where we write a. And x minus x1 will become t minus 2. Let's get d of t by itself by adding 31 to both sides. Also, this is an approximation, so instead of using an equal sign, let's use the symbol for approximately. So d of t is approximately equal to a times t minus 2 plus 31. Now we can use this secant line equation to estimate the number of white-tailed deer at t equals 19 years. In other words, we can estimate the value of d at 19, which will be approximately equal to a times 19 minus 2 plus 31. Let's put this in the calculator. Remember that we stored this whole decimal into the letter a, so we can just use the letter a in our calculation. Pull it up by hitting alpha a. So that's a times 19 minus 2, obviously you could just put 17, plus 31. 168.307 if you like to truncate, or 168.308 if you like to round. At t equals 19 years, there are approximately 168.308 white-tailed deer in the wooded area. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.